dee da Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. This is preview video for our next auction, Thursday, April 19th, 2011. 3177 Mercer, Kansas City, Missouri, 64111. Right off of 31st Street between Southwest Boulevard and Southwest Traffic Way. Auction gets going at uh, 6 o'clock with preview available after 5 o'clock. And we have it all finished by about 10.30 or so. Uh, we will start right over here on this table. Uh, all sorts of good stuff. Nice old radios here. Um, plug them in. They both uh, light up and start to hum. This is a neat uh, trans-oceanic radio. Uh, you know, Coleman cooler down there. Xylophone. These are uh, Dorothy Thorpe glasses here. There's a set of four of them. Made popular in the TV show Mad Men. Um, let's see, we'll go back around here. And, oh, neat old sign. I thought that was cool. Simplicity patterns. Uh, butter churn, croc, uh, Jackson guitar. Here's a Vox uh, Pathfinder amplifier. There is kind of a retro tricycle. And uh, there's a tree swing. Looks like an airplane down there. Um, all sorts of good stuff. Some carnival glass. Uh, Kansas City history kind of cat's drugstore decanter there. These are cool. Uh, I can't remember how to play it. Slim knows how. Needle instruments from the estate of the famous Mayer family, musical artists and Tyrolean singers. They played all sorts of uh, different instruments and stuff way back when. Um, some neat old train stuff here, some military stuff, uh, souvenir Vietnam, kind of velvety thing there. Um, fun little box lots, everyone seems to like them. Some uh, Family Circle magazines from the 40s, then uh, Young America magazines from the 40s. Stars and Stripes from World War II, uh, along with a bunch of military postcards. Here's uh, another fun little flat of stuff. Knights Templar medal. Neat little, it's got to be German made with that pen on the back. I mean, the work that went into making that. Neat piece. Um, just all sorts of fun stuff. This and that, odds and ends, retro, vintage, new, used, antique. Uh, McCoy, this little uh, little guy here. More of this and that. World War II Jerry can. McGruff the crime dog sign. We'll see how he does. In the case, there's uh, some ammo uh, and some kind of vintage packaging. There's a piece of Roseville back there. World War II helmet liner. Uh, coin collection from World War II, uh, just kind of the coins of, that were around during the war. There's a French uh, Labelle bayonet. Um, the album is filled up with postcards. There's some sterling silver. There's some Spanish-American War binoculars. And just some more toys, a little piece of Tiffany in there, some cast iron, some nice costume pieces, some old uh, bone dice, old valentines, more TWA china over here. There's a switchblade in the case there. Uh, more TWA china, costume jewelry, a lot of costume jewelry, a lot of costume jewelry. Got Slim's old football uniform. <laughs> Neat old stuff, probably 40s. Um, some reproduction uh, Nazi uh, sidearms there. Um, just all sorts of good stuff, folks. Uh, some nice, uh, there's an old wagon under the table there. Um, 
some printer boxes, nice collection of vinyl, lots of jazz and R&B, um, huge uh, transistor, got a marching drum, uh, bass drum here, Put more china, um, this is all Fiesta, big box of Fiesta, ammo can, old telephone there, some more 45s down there, nice uh, more R&B and jazz and rock, good, good stuff there. Um, these are kind of cool safety jackets, big sizes, vests, and then a 5th District Mortuary dress. Whatever that means. And uh, more glass and collectibles. It's all sorts of fun little box box lots, beer flat lots, just full of full of stuff. Great for dealers and collectors and designers to really get their money's worth at an auction. Um, all sorts of good stuff. Uh, some railroad. Uh, Railroad China here, uh, Kansas City Southern, Union Pacific, and uh, some more old Valentines. Is that a freaking zebra? <laughs> uh, all sorts of good stuff, folks. Carnival chocks, just neat, neat stuff. There you go. This is what you need. Mm-hmm. Jeez. And we'll go from there, we'll go over here and start doing the furniture and stuff. We'll probably start on the, these trolling motors here. Need old Trindle sewing machine table. Bunch of fishing poles. Nice old chairs. More good stuff. Really cool uh, retro set here. The chair and table and lamps. Awesome stuff. Really. Uh, coming back into vogue so to speak um, and more antiques uh, antique chair oak table we've got all of this uh, guardian service stuff tons of it people collect the hell out of it I know so we'll see how it goes this aluminum cookery here we'll probably do choice there are some uh, old trunks back there and then uh, more neat old tables, uh, Capo de Monte style lamps. Um, all sorts of neat stuff. Uh, working washer and dryer back there. Some more furniture. A lot of this furniture came out of a uh, state in Mission Hills. Um, the bar cart, nice clean, uh, clean pieces of furniture. These, a lot of these are hide beds, so uh, probably get a pretty good deal on those. Wing back chair, uh, dresser back there. Um, another chest. I've got to put the top drawer in there. And another dresser over there. Another Trindle sewing machine. American Beauty sign. How about that? Big piece of uh, skyscraper glass over there and uh, nice table. Uh, no chairs to go with it, but there's a table. We have all these cabinets here. Uh, first time we've really sold cabinets like this. We'll see how they do. A lot of twin beds. And a brand new uh, window over there, standard size. You know, that costs 250 bucks. Outdoor table and chairs. What are those boogie boards or wake boards or something like that? Take them on down to the river. Have a great time. A muddy mo. More chairs. Uh, nice old pieces. Need to be recaned. Um, 
some more some kind of collapsible shelving and some more chairs some Danish looking chairs down there uh, need a little work um, but uh, uh, you know good good style then we will do the walls after this um, all sorts of great old stuff here really old uh, framed pieces and old lithos and all sorts of great stuff pretty much just came out of the country out of old farmhouse essentially and then we'll move over here to these signs should light up oh, look at that hello this is Westport 7900 all right uh, yeah all that stuff lead old 19 uh, late 1960s uh, sports posters over here and some more kind of frameable stuff some of it already framed that's a World War II era map of Roswell New Mexico and all the danger areas there Kansas City Star, and these are a couple uh, neat pictures from inside of the uh, First National Bank, outside and inside of First National Bank, downtown. All sorts cars and trucks in the boxes. Look at all these folks. Look at all this. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars brand new. Yours for pennies on the dollar. A fraction of the cost. Let's say that. A fraction of the cost. All sorts of these. We'll do choice down here. Uh, we start doing choice down in this area. Break it up a few different consigners. thought that was pretty cool engraving there. Neat. Uh, TWA stuff here, TWA calendars, great stuff. That was funny. It's great old paper, you know. Neat stuff, local stuff. Then it goes on and on and on. There's a box of Boy Scout stuff there. Um, some more odds and ends, vintage and retro stuff. Wade Boggs, Louisville Slugger, and an old softball bat there. More brass and stereo stuff, vintage stereo stuff, flat of tools, eight tracks. Seem to sell them every once in a while. And is that kind of stuff. Walk this way. And we'll do this last table down here. All sorts of cool stuff. Uh, a lot of uh, jewelry pieces just ready to go, you know, already. To put in your booth or store or eBay or whatever it is that you do with this stuff. Um, all sorts of neat, neat little odds and ends. Tie tacks and bracelets and earrings and just tons of it. And we've got more. Some more toys down here and a lot of chickens. Um, this is great hand embroidered stuff. Really cool hand embroidered stuff so hope you guys stick around for that. Um, some more records down there but uh, that's it. Thank you so much. See you Thursday.